I think the value of the RAS having a president is that architecture changes so much that it covers such a vast array of issues that someone coming in with a focus for two years to get behind a specific agenda really helps support the RIS and the RIS team in terms of those items. So it is about the organisation as a whole and that direction of travel and actually having input into where that organisation is going alongside RIS Council as equal trustees. But it's also about bringing in a passion or a knowledge about a certain area that you can that you can push that you feel is really relevant at the moment and I suppose for myself it bridged from reuse of existing buildings through to inclusion and opportunities in the profession for the younger generation um, and it has been a strange time but hopefully you know that expertise helped support those subjects for the RIS. So the highlight of my presidency has probably been a little bit different to other RIS presidents in that there haven't been as many awards or events or travel associated with the role uh, with being a pandemic president. So I would say that my highlight's probably been seeing the resilience of the membership over the two year period through such uncertain times and this, the skills and strength of the RIS team to be able to keep going through that period. Um, so it's just been a very different presidency in that sense. And I suppose at a personal level, um, I had the honour of delivering the Lifetime Achievement Award to Marjorie Appleton for Ian and Marjorie Appleton's work, which was just, you know, an incredible thing to be able to do. So on a day to day basis as president, it can really vary. Some days I do office work and monitor my emails and my lunch break, and it is no more complex than that. Um, on other days, you can get a press enquiry from completely left field about nothing that you knew, you know, so about something you didn't know that was happening and they want a response by midday and you just have to react. Um, sometimes you can get contact from members that actually brings up really key issues and, and makes you reflect on where you are as an organisation with that matter. But I suppose on a day to day, it can really change. It, you can have um, committee meetings, you can have meetings with the ARB, you can have meetings with the RIPA, depending on how your calendar is set up and your diary is managed. I try and do everything RIS based on a Wednesday because that's when council meetings are, so I've tried to orientate my meetings around a Wednesday. But day to day it really can vary depending on what's going on and things can come out of nowhere from both Scottish Government and from the press in terms of just movement on act or activity on things. And I think in order to support the membership, you often have to be pretty quick and agile to mm -hmm. be able to, to respond to these things. So um, I balance the presidency with my full-time role by being quite transparent with my employer about the needs of the RIS, even though it can fluctuate a little bit from week to week. And I manage to allocate a day a week to RIS business and then carry out anything else in my own time, be it after work or the weekend, which can be quite demanding, but then there are so many interesting things to get your teeth into. You know, sometimes it's, it's just easy to get carried away with things as well. Um, balancing it is tough. You know, I, you do have to be agile on a daily basis and have to be aware that, you know, something could come up quite quickly with the RAS. And I think it's important that if anyone has uh, support from their employer through this, that that that's quite transparent that these things can pop up. Uh, I've been very fortunate that my employer is an RIS trustee, so is aware of RIS business, but I don't think that's a necessity. I think it would just be a case of being very transparent with the RIS team and the RIS about when you are available and when you're not available and also with your employer. It is a bit of a juggling act from time to time, there's no doubt about that. It's actually just about yeah, understanding how much time you can commit and where you are in life essentially, but um, being transparent about it to all parties I think is really key, but that possibility is definitely there if, if you can manage that balance. Mm. So the advice I would give to someone running for president is have no expectation of yourself. Do it because you think you can make a difference and have real confidence in why you want to go for it. Um, not because of my role, not because of the, you know, Robin Webster, the president before me or, you know, any president before that. Do it because you feel very driven by an item in architecture or an architectural issue and you want to run with it as far as you can um, and have that confidence. I don't... Part of the role of being a, a trustee is essentially to take collective responsibility for the decisions made. 
in tandem with the CEO and the RIS team, but also in terms of just direction of travel for the organisation. Um, some issues can be really contentious around actually a big change for the organisation. Um, they can be really liberating for the organisation in terms of becoming more inclusive and steps in the right direction. They can be very business orientated in terms of actually supporting the CEO and the RIS team with delivering the strategy. So, I mean, whole variation in duties, but um, I think the, the working collaboratively as a group of trustees is really important. It's not just one trustee and it's not just one leader. It's, it's equal responsibility amongst all trustees. It's really working as a, as a group. Um, the nationally elected representatives allow for any member, even if they're not involved in their chapter, to come forward to RAS Council without any chapter level responsibilities. Okay. And what that does is it opens it up to the membership that don't want to take on that double role mm -hmm. or they aren't interested in chapter level activity but are really interested in RIS mm -hmm. activity.